well, I told myself that 2021 was going to be the year that I started doing a few things a bit more differently on the channel. One of those things was getting out, trying some new areas, uh, some new venues, and trying for some different species. Because I'm a little bit of a species virgin when it comes to fishing. I, I haven't caught a huge amount of different species, to be fair. Um, so today I'm out specifically targeting a species that I haven't exactly targeted before. I have caught these in the past, you'll be able to tell by the title probably. That is the trout, the brown trout, wild brown trout to be precise. Uh, these fish aren't stocked, these are just natural numbers. I've come to a tiny river. In fact, I'm going to turn the camera around now. This is where I'm fishing. Um, look, this is, there's my feet in the water and this is a river. You can, you can always jump across it. So as you can tell, this river is tiny. I actually found this river on Google Maps. Um, if it wasn't for it being labelled with a name, I would not have been able to find it because it was so tiny. It was just mixed in with a load of trees around me. It's just surrounded by trees. You couldn't even see it on the map. Um, but that's what I'm doing today after some little tiny trout. Um, I did actually come about five or six days ago and have a very quick session on here, probably about two hours. It went really well. I've been fishing a bit today and I've really been struggling with the hookups but you'll see it in the video. So the first part of the video, I'm not actually using my little net um, because I lost my trout net at the beginning of the first video when I came out, so I had to buy another one. Um, and in the first video, I didn't bring waders because I thought I could fish from the bank. Today I brought some thigh waders, so I'm not gonna get my feet wet. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's crack on with the fishing now. And uh, fingers crossed, in the future, I can come out here and do some more videos if that's what you guys are interested in. Let's crack on. Got to the river, I found a really, really nice spot to start. It's a bit of a deep hole, really slack. I thought I saw something swirl in the edge straight away. Oh, I can. It's a tiny little fryer, I think. Uh, I'm really tempted to go over a classic trout bait, which would be a small spinner, it's a size zero spinner. But because it is a quite small, intricate river, part of this river I'll probably be able to jump over. I'm questioning whether to use that and go for more of a new style trout tactic which is soft plastics use these major softies i think i might start off one over it too. and then we'll move on to the spinner in fact i'll put the spinner in my pocket and then later on if i found any deserving swims more for the spinner that's what i use look at the hook to, look to weedless hook i don't want to be leaving that on the floor for anyone to stand on Right, I'm taking my shoes off and I'm rolling my jeans up. <laughs> Honestly, from Google Maps, I thought this looked accessible. Like, decent. It looked decently accessible. And I thought, I'm not going to wear my thigh waders. I'm going to bring them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got nail varnish on my toes. Don't ask why. <laughs> um, I thought this looked easily accessible from the bank. I saw there was a few trees on the banks, but... That picture must have been taken a while ago because there is virtually no access from the bank other than where I've just got in the water. And there's no fish there, probably because it gets fish quite often. So, the trousers are getting rolled up. Time to stick to the shallows. The shoes are going to have to uh, hide them. <laughs> Put them in a bush. <laughs> Put them in my bag, I think. All right, I've just put my shoes in my bag. This morning, I think we had minus two for every morning this, every day this week, it's been in the minuses. So this water is going to be very cold. Yep, confirm. Water is bitterly, bitterly cold. The entire bottom is rocks as well. That's great. And I'm here shouting about trying to catch some wild trout. But probably very rarely see a hook, so I best be quiet, aren't I? These are quite sharp as well. Okay, this is a deep pool here over slack water. It's a good chance of a treat. Shake that little There we go. Oh, we got one. We got one. Yes. I've been fishing what? Not even 10 minutes. Probably 10 minutes. Oh, and it is a trout. A lovely brown trout. They're like slippery bars of soap. I've only ever caught two of these in my life. Wish I'd have brought my little trout net. Well, I've not lost it. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Beautiful fish. Probably getting on for a pound. Beautiful coloration and a little micro jig right in the corner of the mouth. Let's knock him over here and caught him a little micro jig. Just like bars of soap either. Oh. Really deep hole there. Bit of a pool next to some sticks. I thought for sure there was going to be a trout there. It's absolutely spot on. It's absolutely perfect on this corner here where all these sticks are. That's all really deep there. I was almost certain I was going to get one there. And I can't see any, right? I thought for sure there was going to be one there. I don't think this river is like full of trout. There's just some in here, you know what I mean? As opposed to the core species, there's more trout than there is cores. There we go, there's a trout. <laughs> Didn't even see him. Come on, little guy. Come on, little bit. Little Willie, I was going to call him. Come on, little Willie. Beautiful little trout, look at that. I really hate to say it, but if I catch many more of these, it might start becoming one of my favourite fish to catch because I mean, I've only caught two, but look how beautiful they are. Really, really nice fish. That one really choked it as well. Right up in the shallow water as well. There we are, just caught a little ballsy micro jig. Looks really try to around here. Look at all these reeds in the water. Looks really, really nice. You start casting more. Do a lot of walking without even casting. There we go. Oh, that was a good size one. It's very similar to that first one. Lost it. I've decided to go a little bit more traditional. I've got a fly on. A jig fly. Just trying the deep hole which looks like it could contain a bigger fish. This is a perfect little bait. It's the sort of bait I use for catching micro jack pike and perch. My local larger river. I say larger, but it's still a small river, but it's large compared to this one. So I'm hoping this might pick me out. Oh, that was a big trout. That fish was two pound plus all day. Damn it. On my homemade jig fly as well, and I lost it. I can't believe that. That must have been the fish that that man was on about when he said he'd seen a fish in his deep hole. I can't believe I lost it. I just turned the GoPro off and I caught the biggest trout so far, easily over a pound. I don't know why I turned the GoPro off. I think it's right at the point where I have to go home. There we go. Homemade jig fly out his mouth. Right at the point where I have to go home and I've caught a beautiful trout, probably over a pound. Just give him a quick drink down here. Oh, steady on. I've had him in a sling in the edge, so he's a little bit fired up. <laughs> but uh, let's put it this way. I turned the gopro off and as i did entered probably one of the best swims i've seen so far really odd looking thing really really fast rapids down the middle and then there's a little cut right under the bank only about a foot wide but it drops down to about two foot deep as opposed to being a few inches i dropped into it i was talking to the camera as i would do normally whack got slammed on my jig fly came right up to the surface and took it just as about to take it out of the water but it's the biggest trout i've caught so far and he's a wiry guy he's probably about a pound in size it's from this really, really tiny little stream or creek, whatever you'd like to call it. He's a beautiful, beautiful little fish. Awesome. And actually a decent size on that setup as well. Put up a right fight. 
I don't know why I turned the camera off. <laughs> Never mind, let's get him back. So guys, thank you for watching. Um, I actually really did struggle to hook up to these trout. So if you have any ideas for me as to how I can better hook up to these fish, whack it in the comment section below. I just think I might need to use a slightly bigger hook. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like I say, if you want to see more of this type of video, whack it in the description. Comment section below, why do I keep saying description? <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.